So tonight we had the exclusive listening session and reveal of Iesa, um, my surprise album, no features, um, super traditional, it's a vibe. Jeez! I mean, it's a surprise, it's a surprise because um, I think I just dropped something recently, well not quite recent, but last year in July with AKA, we have Be Careful What You Wish For, and this is my next body of work, my f uh, second solo album. Um, I felt like people really just had to experience me my vibes and you know just relate to who I really am and yeah um, the title comes from you know people me telling people that something's coming you know for the longest time I was working on electronic Bushman and that was just really an amalgama am amalgamation of just different sounds and you know different influences but I wanted something that was just concise and cohesive and just like straight to the point and this album just came out of nowhere it started off as an EP I was like, let me just like do three, four songs, and then just put it out. And then I ended up having like quite a few. And then it became an album, and that's how Iyaza came about. The first song that, that I made officially that was on the album is Tipono Fefe. You know, so that's really just kicked off the vibe. I mean, I already had songs that are in its plus, but I think Tipono Fefe just kicked off the vibe, and then I just carried on from there. You know, everything just stems from that vibe. I mean, I was I was going through a lot of things, not really like a, a spiritual transition, but more of just me trying to be true to who I really am. You know, a lot of the times we do things to sort of fit in, but I think the puzzle piece that God created us to be doesn't really fit in with just anything, you know? And I felt like this just has to be like pure expression, you know, it's vulnerable. I'm not overthinking anything. It's just vibes. Everything that was just coming out was coming out. You know, I didn't think about it. It was just coming out. I mean, the reason behind No Features is because I just wanted people to hear me for who I really am. A lot of the times the message gets, you know, I don't know, diluted or maybe confused. You know, people don't really understand who, who Anati really is. And I feel like with this album, you'll understand who I really am. I mean, I, the only way I could balance it was by having 10 songs. So have like five of a certain vibe and have five of another vibe. So that's the only way I could balance it. In terms of just like sonically, everything just came from like a vulnerable place, you know? So whether it's a hip hop song, Afrobeat, um, traditional Maskandi or whatever I can do, cause I can make any sort of type of music, anything. I'm not boxed by genre. And this album is not in the hip hop section. It's in world music. It's on world music. It's on, it's on world music. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to be who I am, you know? And that's just be like unboxed, you know? I, I don't want to be boxed by genres. I don't want to be boxed by spirituality or what people believe in. It's just about like who I really am.